All right, everyone, today I want to give you a quick update on U.S. government Series I savings bonds. This has been one of the hottest topics in personal finance over the last 18 months or so. This really hit the financial media about a year ago when the interest rate or the yield on these instruments hit nearly 10%. But you got to remember, the rate resets every six months and it's tied to a measure of inflation. So with inflation coming down, so too is the yield on these savings bonds. And I think other things look more attractive in the current marketplace. So that's what we're chatting about. Stick around. Now, one thing that makes the world of finance interesting is things are constantly on the move. And these U.S. government savings bonds are no exception. They've been one of the hottest topics in personal finance over the last 18 months, as I mentioned. But now we're starting to see articles like this one from Bloomberg this week. Is it time to get out of I bonds? And the reason we're seeing some of these headlines, again, is because the rates are going to reset in the coming weeks. And we're expecting to see much lower yields than are presently available. So as mentioned in this article, currently, if you purchase I-bonds, you're going to uh, lock in a 6.8%, 8.9% annualized rate. You'll get that for six months going forward. You actually have until the end of April to capture that. So if you haven't purchased your $10,000 allotment, remember, you can uh, I-bonds are limited to $10,000 per person. There's ways to get a little bit more in than that, but for the sake of uh, keeping this brief, it's $10,000 per person. Uh, if you want to lock that in, you still have a narrow window of time to do that. But the point of this article is rates are expected to reset here in May at only 3.8%. And the thing is, there's other alternatives today, like regular U.S. Treasuries and even CDs that look more attractive. Now, let me jump over to Fidelity.com. This is where I have my accounts personally, so I got a lot of familiarity with their what we call their fixed income platform. I just want to show you where rates are. Um, I've done a number of videos, step-by-step, uh, -step how you purchase brokered CDs and how you purchase treasuries. Uh, if you want to know more information, how to buy some of these securities, reference some of those videos, which I'll make sure to drop in the description here if you're watching on YouTube. I'll try to drop in the comment section if you're watching on one of the other platforms. But long story short, if we take a look here at where CD offerings are, I mean, you can see the yields basically across all these shorter maturities are hanging right around 5%. And by, contra by contrast, uh, U.S. Treasuries are roughly in the same range. However, we get out here in the two and three year range, we start to see rates taper off. Uh, this is the bond yield, or excuse me, the bond market expressing its uh, view on where rates are probably headed, but that's that's a subject for another day. Uh, what I, I just want to point out here, these rates are significantly higher than what we're expecting from I-bonds. So if you're someone who's been uh, really gung-ho about I-bonds, I mean, I've purchased my allotment the last couple years, but moving forward, um, I might even redeploy some of that cash uh, in treasuries in particular. The one thing I like about treasuries is they are state income tax free. Now, I'm in the state of Minnesota. We have a relatively high state income tax. Uh, that can really make a, a big difference, uh, particularly for folks that are in some of those higher brackets. But if you're someone who lives in Florida, for example, you don't have a state income tax, uh, you might be more interested in purchase, purchasing CDs uh, because the yields there are higher even on a tax-adjusted basis. So that's just a quick update on yields for some of these short-term instruments, which can be a good place to park cash on a guaranteed basis. Uh, if you're looking for some instructional videos, step-by-step, -step, how do you purchase brokered CDs or how do you purchase treasuries on Fidelity's fixed income platform, uh, check out some of those past videos that I did. Like I said, I'll make sure to drop those links in the description if you're watching on YouTube. Those are some of my top viewed videos. They've been very well received. If you got any questions, please feel free to drop those in the comment section. Thanks for watching as always. I hope we'll see you in the next one.